Marco Dress here from Fair Realty. Uh, as you probably know by now, the Home Protection Office has changed their name to BC Housing Licensing and Consumer Services. Uh, as if they had nothing better to do with their time and resources to make a name change. I'm sure this name change is really going to improve the quality of owner builder homes across BC for sure. Uh, the new website has a lot of new bulletins and I thought things were ridiculous before. Uh, at this point they're reaching a whole nother level of stupidity. I don't know who's coming up with these policies but they have obviously never been to a construction site and obviously have zero real life experience. So let me read one of the new policies. I don't want to make this a half hour video. As a subcontractor, if I installed the foundation, uh, the house structure, which would be the framing, and the building envelope on an owner builder home, would I be required to become a licensed residential builder and obtain home warranty insurance for the home? Yes, you are required to become a licensed uh, residential builder and obtain home warranty insurance for the home, even though an owner builder authorization was issued. The owner builder authorization would likely be canceled in this scenario. Depending on the circumstances, the home warranty insurance policy may include exclusions on components not performed or completed by you. The reason I say this is absolutely idiotic is uh, I went through the process of owner building a home and uh, I have enough common sense to know that 95% of the time, the same uh, framing crew that does the foundation also does the structure of the home. It's the same trade, framing. So it'd be kind of like uh, needing to have the brakes changed on your car. You're not going to hire one mechanic to change the brakes and another mechanic to put on the tires. The foundation and the structure go hand in hand and my personal home as well. The same framer, uh, he did the foundation, he did the structure of the home. Now, in BC, most homes uh, have a hardy plank as their exterior envelope. And hardy planks relatively uh, simple to install. Uh, a framer would be overqualified uh, to do a building envelope installation. But often what happens is as framers are trying to line up jobs, sometimes a home is behind on an excavation. Uh, he or she might have a two or three week window where the jobs don't line up. So they'll often approach the homeowner and say, okay, I did the foundation for you. I did the structure for you. My next project can't start for another three weeks. How about I do the building envelope for you, which would be installing the hardy plank. Uh, very common sense. Uh, also makes sense for both parties. The framer, he or she gets to be employed. Uh, you as the owner builder get to work with the same person that you worked on the foundation and the framing with. There's some trust there. Versus the framer not having anything to do for three weeks and you as the homeowner, uh, owner builder having to go out and find another party to do the envelope while you have someone offering to do it, all because uh, BC housing and licensing and consumer BS made up this idiotic policy, basically someone making hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, sitting behind a cushy desk came up with this policy uh, to screw you over as the owner builder. Not only you as the owner builder, but also tradespeople. It's going to limit the tradespeople in terms of how much they can do on any particular home without becoming a licensed builder and all the associated bureaucracy that comes with that. Guess what that's also all going to do in uh, aggregate? It's going to drive up prices of homes. Uh, how BC Housing keeps talking about affordable housing, there is nothing, absolutely nothing in these policies that has to do with uh, affordable housing. It's actually the opposite. It should be called uh, unaffordable BC Housing. That's it for this week. Marco Juras, Fair Realty.